Hi, this is Mike Martin of the Creative Agent Club, and I'm going to show you a nice program that allows you to create some pretty cool either virtual tours or uh, listing videos for your homes that you have listed. And uh, it's a free program from Microsoft. It's called Photo Story 3. You can download it on the Microsoft website. If you uh, read my article about it, you can get the link from there. But uh, this tutorial is going to be a real quick one because it's such an easy program to use. And I'm going to just, just kind of show you how you can put one together. So the first, uh, when you start to program, the first screen that comes up is the front screen. And you can either begin a new story, edit a project you've already created, or play one that you've already created. Created. And since this is a new one, I'm going to go ahead and click the Begin a New Story button and click Next. What comes up is the screen where you're going to go ahead and you're going to import your pictures to begin with. In order to do that, you click on the Import Pictures button. And it already took, takes me to um, a folder that I had some listing photos in. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select them. I'm going to hold the Control key down and just pick certain ones that I want to use. And you can scroll down. There's a the front, family room living room, kitchen, bathrooms, and just uh, put a couple other ones in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to go ahead and import them. You can see how fast this program actually imported these pictures, and, and they're actually they're pretty good sized photos. And if you look at the bottom, you're going to see fun uh, thumbnails of each picture that you have. And in the thumbnail, you can actually click on them to bring up the uh, what they look like on the main screen. And you can move them around. Um, what I can do is take this picture of the front, and I'm going to go and I'm going to slide it and put it in the beginning of the of the uh, timeline. And we also have an outside one. And here's another picture over here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in, in the uh, beginning. And then here's another one that I'm going to put here. So the first three we have starting out is of the uh, the front, and then we're going to see the front yard, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, just change these around. Actually, that's a bedroom. I won't put that there. Uh, I think we have an entryway here. Oops, put it in between those two, and then we'll go up to the bedroom. It, it doesn't matter. You can put these in any order that, order that you want, and you can see them here, and you can also make adjustments if you want to uh, correct the color levels. Uh, if they had a picture of somebody, if you're doing this for a family and had a red eye, it does that, uh, fixing the red eye. And you can rotate the picture if you take them in at a different angle. You can rotate them. You can also hit edit. And um, that will allow you to, uh, there we go. That will allow you to rotate it, crop the picture. You can auto fix it. Uh, as far as checking the color levels, the contrast, you can even add effects. Uh, making it black and white, make it uh, chalk, uh, charcoal or chalk. So there's different little effects here. Now I wouldn't do these with listing photos, but hey, maybe you have some family uh, family stories you want to put together and you want to do some kind of neat uh, neat effects with it. But I'm going to just go ahead and keep that as none. Don't need any uh, effects on this one. I don't want to make any changes. Um, next thing I'm going to do is once I have the pictures that I want in there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit next to go to the next screen. Now this is a screen where you can actually um, choose te text if you want to put any kind of title slides on the pictures. So over here you can see in this box it says type uh, text to add a title on the selected picture. I'm going to go ahead and put the address on here. Northfield Road. And as you can see on the screen it's kind of in the middle and you can use these little buttons on the right to either align at the bottom, in the middle, or at the top. I'm going to go ahead and put it at the bottom. You can also right justify, center justify, or left justify. And as you can see, it's actually it's in black. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that uh, font to being white so we can see a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger size font. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see it's uh, 119 uh, Northfield Road is on there. The one thing that when you do add photos, um, I'm sorry, when you do add titles to your photo, it's not going to have the picture doing any kind of motion. Uh, as soon as you have have a title on the uh, on the photo, the picture is not going to move. And I'm going to show you how it does that when it creates it. But that's just one thing you want to keep in mind when you see a title on a picture. But uh, once you go ahead and you, and you select all the, the uh, photos that you want any titles on, go ahead and click Next. It'll take us to the next screen where you can actually record audio. So if you have a microphone hooked up to your computer and you want to narrate each photo and maybe talk about the different features in each room, you can do that right into the system. Uh, and as you're, anytime you're talking, the photo will stay up there for as long as you're talking. So as soon as you're done talking, then it'll go on to the next photo. Um, and you can preview that audio too whenever you, you go in there. You can also do custom motion. If you click the custom motion button, uh, actually let me go off of that one. 
hit this one instead. And you can specify a start and stop position. So when you click on the, the uh, specify start, stop, and end position in motion, you'll see there's little um, handles in the corners and the sides. You can go ahead and you can grab those and make it a little bit smaller. Actually, we'll do it in the, oh, let's do it in full size on this one. There we go. Okay, so we can go ahead and say I wanted to start on the porch, and I wanted to bring it out all the way to the uh, the entire screen. You can go ahead and you can see that by hitting preview, and go ahead and hit previews. Now you can see it started on the porch, and it's now going wide to show you the entire photo. Let's go ahead and end that. You can also change the transition if you wanted to. Right now we have a crossfade, which is a dissolve. You can change that to a circle. As you can see there, you can change it um, as a V, a V going down. And they have a whole bunch of different kinds of effects that you can go uh, in transition between photos. Personally, I like the crossfade. That's, um, that's the one I like best. You can set the transition, transition uh, duration automatically where the program chooses how long each photo is going to be up there or you can specify how many seconds you want each picture to be on there. Um, you know, up to two, you know, one second, nine seconds, uh, whatever you want to choose that uh, that number to be. So, but we're just going to go ahead and leave that as the uh, automatic duration. And I'm going to hit save. And once it's done saving, it'll go back to the main screen again, hit close. And we, um, you can actually do that for every photo if you wanted to, if you're that particular, or you can just, like I said, let the program do uh, the dissolves in between each one and check the um, the time automatically. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit next, and now it says um, you can. This is where you can select music. If you had any kind of music uh, already uh, created, you, you can put on there. And, and believe me, you you definitely want to use non-copyrighted music uh, or copyright-free music, especially if you put it on the internet. You want, don't want to be breaking any copyright laws. But one of the cool things about this program is you can also create music, or it actually has a music creation um, thing in here, and you can go ahead and uh, choose something like clockwork, and you can hit the play button. And when you hit the play button, it'll actually give you a, that music. Hopefully you can hear it in this. And you can actually change it around as it's playing, so you can listen to different uh, different music. So they have the bands, and then you can also choose different moods, bittersweet. And you can even choose the style, if you want uh, Bach, Beethoven. They have all different ones that you can check, um, choose between. Which is a pretty cool, which is a pretty cool feature. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit OK for that. And I can actually hit Preview again. And now you'll see the pictures coming up with the music in the background also. And the music will actually fade out, uh, fade out at the end automatically, which is a nice feature. So go ahead and stop that. Close that and go, go ahead into the next screen. And this is where you're going to save it. Um, you can save it for playback on your computer, and when you do that, it'll put it in a Windows Media file that you can upload to YouTube or put on your website, and that's what I would suggest if you're doing virtual tours for your website, is just go ahead and save it uh, for playback on your computer. Down here is where you want to browse to put it wherever you want to put it, and name it and call it whatever you want to call it. And you hit next, and it goes and it goes and it builds the video for you that you can go ahead and use uh, for your listings. So, this is like I said, this is a very simple program to use. You can crank out uh, a bunch of videos. All you need is some good quality photos, and uh, this program will put it to motion automatically for you and create the video. And best of all, things that I like to hear is that it's absolutely free, and you can download it from Microsoft.